Hey guys, Boney McBonerton here, and you're probably wondering to yourselves, Boney, where have you been? It's been... Okay, so let's see. Shit hit the fan on Friday night. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. It's Tuesday. Wednesday. Uh, oh my god, it's almost been a fucking week. So Thursday night, I had lost access to my Boney McBonerton YouTube account. No, don't worry, I didn't get hacked or anything. I was basically trying to re-sign into Boney McBonerton, but the problem was, and I can't prove that this happened, so I'm gonna sound hella paranoid right now, but I think that Google actually changed one of my passwords to a previous iteration of another password without notifying me. So even though I've got a massive list of current passwords that I have that is written down, no matter how much I tried this password, it didn't work. And apparently, I tried it so much, in a panic, that Google straight up locked me out of that account, even though I now know the current password that they changed it to! Good job, Google! Oh, oh, and it gets better. So, while trying to get my account back, when Google has you do that, you have to go to your alt email, and so you go to your alt email and they send you a special code. So. You, they send you the code, you go to the website on Google to where you're trying to sign into your other Google account, you put in the code, and then you have to wait 24 hours for them to send you the password reset thing. I don't know why I had to reset my password, even though I already knew what it was, and figured out what happened. Google wasn't actually sending me the link to reset that thing, so I kept repeatedly asking them, Hey, can you send me another? And I was frustrated, and I kept requesting the link, because... Because I was fear infuriated by the fact that they could figure out this was my alt email that I had as a recovery for Bone Doggle. Yet, they were able to send me a password immediately, but they had to wait 24 hours to send me a link to figure out how to get back in. Which is fucking stupid, like, you guys already instantly sent me a code, why can't we've just done it like that? No, you see, Kyle, we can't do that, that makes too much fucking sense! So here's where it gets stupid. Because I sent too many at once, apparently, you, like, Google threw a bitch fit and sent me an email on my alt account. Where, hi, let me read this out to you. Hi, thank you for filing out our account recovery form. We know that losing access to your account can be frustrating. We want to help! At Google, we take our privacy and security very seriously. We're committed to returning accounts only to when we're sure that they are giving them back to their owners. Unfortunately, based on the information you provided, we were unable to verify that your own Gmail that you own Bone Doggle. So, the alt account that I've had for years, like when I first set up my YouTube account like six years ago, they're now deciding, you know what? We don't think you actually own this. Durr. Even though this account has done nothing fucking suspicious with this. But there are other ways to actually get my account verified, but there's a problem. You see, if I have to get my account verified another way, I have to do it over the phone. Which doesn't really sound like that much of a hassle, except for the fact that Tuesday night my phone fucking shat itself and literally perma-died without any explanation. Like, one second, it's 57%, it's in my pocket, it's doing fine. The next, I pull it out and refuses to turn on, refuses to reset. I can't fucking open up the battery and take a look, because the fucking R-tards at Samsung who designed the Galaxy A12 decided yeah, you know what made our phone so great? How people could open up the back and take the battery out and put in a new battery? Yeah, that's fucking stupid. Let's remove that. Durr. So now, I had to go through a solid week trying to work with these T-Mobile Dillweeds, who, the first time I went into the store, they basically handed me a pamphlet and was like, Oh yeah, well actually, you have the insurance through your mom. So, she has to come here physically to verify that she's with you, so we can do this claim shit. Well, the only problem is, my mom works second shift, and, it, and it's extremely difficult for her to make any free time out of work. 
So he had to wake up super early to go over to the T-Mobile store again. So basically some lardoid of fucking worker could just go, Oh, well, um, since we know it's you, just go file a claim online. And we literally asked her, Oh, we don't know our T-Mobile account or password. She's like, oh, it's fine. You don't need one. So literally that very same night, I go to set it up. I put in my phone number. I put in my name. They know it's me, but we still need the T-Mobile shit. So I'm like, this bitch lied. So on Sunday, we had to go in a third time and basically have to confront them about this. And we had to finally get the fucking claim through. Keep in mind, this is after about a pretty solid amount of days with no power, no phone, no mobile data, and the most I've had to fucking entertain myself with is, um, I, I, I don't know, this, this glow stick? It's, it's dead, but it's a glow stick, I guess. And so, even though we have power and Wi-Fi back, I still have to wait to get the new phone that's... I can't put any of the old content from my other phone onto because my uh, old other phone has basically just killed itself to the point that it's decided, yeah, you know what, I'm never gonna turn on again. All those valuable pictures you had of your cat, fuck you. All those nice pictures of those pumpkins you carved this year, fuck you. All the proof that you worked for Warner Bros this summer, yeah, fuck you. But, once this video comes out, that'll confirm that I am back. And I do actually want to apologize to a few people. For starters, I want to apologize to Claire Thomas. You see, on one of my videos, she videos Half-Life 2, but G-Man is after you. I actually saw this really wholesome comment from Claire Thomas that said, Good vid, would love to see more. And I commented, Thank you! This Sunday, I have something planned that will be even more terrifying than this. And you know what? I did! And I would have been able to upload it if I wasn't locked out of my fucking Google account by the dipshits that run Google. And B, if we actually had power. So yeah, am I pissed about this circumstance? Extremely. Yeah, I would have had videos like uploaded, I want to say, yesterday when we did get power and internet back. But... <sighs> But no, I guess that just make too much fucking sense. But don't worry, I'm back. I'm gonna take the stuff that I was supposed to upload last weekend and upload it this weekend and just try to resume as normal. Thank you for your cooperation and I hope you understand. So, I'm actually gonna add in this uh, quick little snippet into the video. Because I wanted to add on to it because, um, some recent developments came from the last time that I actually edited that video. So, the good news is, after, I think it was the other day that they finally sent me my phone, a whole, I want to say, two weeks later after I requested it, and get this, I actually found out why it took so long for me to get my phone. The reason was because apparently the insurance claim or whatever was pending. So keep in mind the last time that something like this happened to my phone, in under 24 hours, they had sent me a package, and I had got a new phone, had my old phone shipped back to them, and it was done. But no, this time it took two fucking weeks! Two weeks! You know, if I was a lesser man, I would have been like, oh, you know... Since you guys made me wait so long for my phone, maybe I should make you guys wait to get the phone back. But no, apparently if I do that, they'll charge me up the fucking wazoo for it. Okay, I see how it is. So when you guys are like fucking two weeks late, it's just, oh, oh well, oopsie poopsie. But if I were to maliciously do something like that in the exact same time frame, I'll actually get massively fined. Okay, that, that's totally, totally fair. I actually feel bad for whoever has to receive my phone. Because I can imagine them just being like, mm, I'm going to pull up all the data off this phone so we can sell it to advertisers. And then they look and they just see the most cursed porn they've ever seen in their lives. 
I won't tell you what it is, but man, I am not paying for those therapy bills. Oh, and another interesting development. For some weird reason, I can no longer upload videos through my Brave browser. So here, take a look at this. We go to manage videos. And then we get this thing saying, Oh, verify it's you! And then we proceed. So here's something really fucking stupid. Okay. Take a look at this page here. First of all, it doesn't even tell you what to get. It says, get your blank. Bro, what the fuck? Second of all, the only reason I was able to figure out I was supposed to do this over a phone is because it says, go to your settings app. Okay, I want to show you some fucking nonsense here. Me and my sister tried to solve this for ages, but we actually could not fucking figure this out. The nonsense that I've been putting up with for several days. Because, yeah, even though I verified my account over my phone number, Google was like, uh, uh, duh. No, actually, it was YouTube. Uh, uh, duh. You need to re verify, cuz, cuz, uh, uh, duh. Okay, so, I'm gonna pull up OBS so you can clearly see the security code. Okay. There it is. There's the security code. So I'm going to put it in exactly 774-759-727 and wrong code. Yeah, even though I put in the code exactly, it's somehow the wrong code. Okay, without spaces. It's incorrect! I don't even fucking know how. Like, I've tried the other codes, I've tried the codes put together, I've literally tried every near possible sequence of inputting this code. And it just looks at me and goes, Oh dear, you're just wrong. You're just putting it in wrong. It's a wrong code. Uh, uh, oh dear. But here's where things get weird. Here's where things get really weird. Okay. So, I go to my channel. I go to my video manager, and it never pops up. Never. Like, it never actually pops up and says, oh, you need to do this. So, why is it that it only does this on the browser with built-in ad blocker? Hmm. But, you know, despite all the bullshit I've had to go through in the past, I want to say, all of fucking November. Do you want to know the most hurtful part about this? The most absolutely hurtful part? Well, before uploading this video... I've been gone for about, like, I want to say, 13 days, and not a single person has asked me, where have I been? Where have I gone? Where am I? Hey, where'd Boney McBonerton go? Like, not a single comment asking, hey, are you okay? Is something personal going on in your life? Not a single... Like, good to see that if anything ever happens to me on YouTube that no one will fucking notice. You know, but you know what? I'm not going to take it personally. You know, I can't accept, expect everyone to be on top of what I'm doing. You know, on a totally unrelated note, the um, Secret Viscera Cleanup Detail uh, holiday special that I had that was going to last all through December, um... Due to some personal mental reasons, it's been cancelled. Permanently cancelled. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why. 